As mentioned at the top of the broadcast, uh, Keith Monahan is down at the Gulf Coast waiting on the arrival of Hurricane Laura to make landfall. Uh, he's in a very interesting situation right now, or at least a position anyway. Keith, what can you tell us? Well, I'll tell you what, Bob. Things have gotten so bad in about the last 10 minutes that we can't really spend much more time out here. Winds easily gusting to about 75 or 80 miles per hour. And we are going to be getting into our safe place in just a few minutes. We are looking for this hurricane to make landfall in about the next two hours. The worst of Laura is now moving into Lake Charles. We are expecting a storm surge here in the city of about 10 to 12 feet and winds up to about 150 miles per hour. That'll be in about the next two hours when the strongest of the winds move in as well as the biggest storm surge. Winds could be gusting as high as 185 miles per hour. And again, that unsurvivable storm surge is expected at the Gulf Coast over the next couple of hours. We've got our safe room identified inside and we're gonna be sending it back to you reporting live from Lake Charles, Louisiana. I'm Keith Monahan. Bob, we're headed inside. Keith, stay safe. He's down there with our photographer, Goose. Hope you guys are uh, got a safe place to stay. As Keith mentioned, there, the wind's gusting around uh, 60 to 70 miles an hour right now. Uh, offshore, Hayden just said that those wind uh, speeds are up to about 170 miles an hour. And you saw the wind and the rain there. Part of the concern with being outside, and I'm sure this is one of the things Keith was keeping in mind, was that once the, the wind picks up, anything that might be laying around, whether it's just a, it could be a trash can or it could be a piece of plywood and it gets into the air, it becomes a missile. So it's extremely dangerous. Uh, Got to keep an eye on some of those things right there.